Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we'll be doing a paid brutally honest review on MeSchool's NFT. This is a new NFT project minting on the Ethereum blockchain. NFTs and crypto are in such a crazy, crazy time to be alive. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the consistent uploads. I've been trying to read you guys the most important content on YouTube. Uh, if you've been enjoying that, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom, like this video. The liking of the video makes so much of a difference. I appreciate you guys all doing that. Um, as you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord. Make sure you get your three free stocks down below in the description with my Weeple link. It also is a direct way to help me out. I appreciate you guys doing that. It's always good to have multiple trading platforms on your phone in case one of them crashes. So you saw we brought back the, the Kirby beanie. You guys love the Kirby beanie. The founder of the Mitzvitz Project gave me a custom NFT. I'm gonna pop it up right now. Fucking love it. I've been actually getting a few people to make me custom NFTs and it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I love it. So this is the MeSchool's Twitter page. They got 14.9 thousand followers here. A community of 10,000 3D voxel figures created by a custom generative algorithm mintable as an NFT. Here's what their art looks like. You know, it, it, it just it reminds me exactly of the voxel characters from the Gala project. So if you scroll down, they have the mint price at 0.1 Ethereum. The whitelist starts at 4 a.m. PST, 7 a.m. Eastern time on the 23rd of February. The contract whitelist, which is one of those times where if you hold a certain NFT for another project, typically a blue chip, um, you guys get like automatic whitelist like for example with this project I have a cool man universe So I automatically get whitelist and I would be able to mint on the 24th of February for 24 hours between 4 p.m PST uh, and then the public sale starts at 4 p.m PST on the 25th of February They do a lot of this stuff with like the virtual reality slash augmented reality. They do a lot of this kind of posting uh, I would like to see a little bit more personal branding and less whitelist opportunities white less like growth campaigns and stuff So that's really the only criticism I have for their Twitter page. Here's the MeSchool's website. If we scroll down, we have the story here. A uh, community of 10,003 voxel figures created by the generative algorithm is mintable as an NFT. It can represent you, me, or just about anybody as an avatar or digital profile. The goal of the MeSchool is to bring everybody together as a community and let people interact in the afterlife metaverse. When the living depart the world, their memory gets wiped with their conscious, partially transferred to the MeSchools. Every MeSchools is unique, meaning there are no two that are exactly the same. Some may look normal, some may look out of this world wacky. Each figure consists of multiple parts drawing adaptations from different cultures and genres it's all about the fun and they've got a video on their website you guys know i love that let's check it out Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love that. That was very cool. I like that. You know, it just, just a little bit of effort, you know, a little bit of effort onto a little bit of video content, entertainment, and people are that much more interested in the project. I love that bit. And if you enjoyed that dancing, I mean, I absolutely deserve a subscription if you're not already subscribed. And if not, I definitely deserve a like and a comment. Now, what will you be getting with this NFT? A certified unique ERC 721 NFT right here, a high res PNG and 3D GLB file. If you don't know what a GLB file is, it's a virtual reality slash augmented reality file where essentially I'm going to assume you're able to put it onto your camera roll and somehow be able to, like, if you just had your camera looking at stuff, you could basically plant your uh, your NFT right there on your, on your sofa or anything like that. I'm hoping that's what it means. I've never actually used a GLB file before. You also get a gallery view of the MeSchools along with different rarity scores, membership of a close-knit community, and all commercial rights to do as you see fit. Here's an example of some of the stuff that they just want to show as far as like branding and get people excited and like bring into the real world. They've got little figurines here. Very, very cool. Rarity in variety. They have class, theme, accessories, and symbols. Those will be the four ways they distinguish each of these MeSchools. If we scroll down, they've got the MeSchools collection. Just an example of the different kinds here. Scroll down again. Endless possibilities. The entire collection will be meta ready. It means you'll be able to use your NFTs within the VR and AR space. Moving beyond 2D, 3D avatars, digital profiles is the future. Here's some examples of this. I really, really am a fan of this. I love this stuff. Do you guys have you guys seen the um, <laughs> the TikToks of Shrek? They basically have Shrek blown up just like this, like huge size. It's a TikTok filter, and people are making the funniest fucking memes. So this is a great idea, an amazing way to build community and, and to build brand, honestly. 
Uh, they also have some more examples of them in the games. This requires rigging, it says, so I'm not sure exactly what that means. I assume they just, like... I guess they just rigged it, but this is kind of what it would look like inside of the game So I like that they're doing this just to give people a visual of what they would look like if they were to mint this NFT into the future And how they could use it in video games and stuff like that. Here's the roadmap Q1 of 2022 build the community launch the 10,000 collection Q2 of 2022 activate the skulls token redemption drop pets and accessories Q3 of 2022, activate partnerships for IP, integrate into the metaverses. Q4, extend ecosystem, becoming a cultural phenomenon. Go to the FAQ. How much is each me skull? Just again, to talk about it. Point one ETH, 1500 whitelist spots reserved for a maximum of three minutes each. 300 will also be reserved for whitelist minting by Pixel Genesis holders of first come, first serve basis. And one thing they mentioned here, which this is something that NFT Nate, another YouTuber, talked about, they want to uh, inspire derivative art here because that's what builds a blue chip. You know, if Doodles, for example, right? There's so many derivatives of the Doodle project, but Doodles is the first. They're the project that everyone models after. Same with Board Ape Yacht Club. Any of the eight projects are derivative of the Board Ape Yacht Club, pretty much. So this is a good thing that they mentioned here. I like this. I don't know if that was intentional, but I noticed that there. The Skulls token is gonna be a utility-based token to expand the metaverse uh, for them. So what is the Skulls token? It's a utility-based token to expand their universe. It's not a security token, does not guarantee a monetary yield, and is only usable within their own ecosystem to exchange for digital goods such as pets and accessories. Each Mii Skulls will generate 10 tokens per day for 5 years. Skulls tokens can be used to redeem add-ons for your Mii Skulls, adopt a pet, furnish your crib, plus many collectibles up for redemption. So here's some examples of that. The cribs are coming soon. If we head over to their next page, they have the whitelist information here. Again, like I said, they have the wallet whitelisting. They have the contract whitelisting if you own certain NFTs. Like for example, if you own an Azuki, Board of Yacht Club, Clone X, Cool Cats, Cool Man's Universe, Cyber Kongs, Doodles, Dead Fellows, Kaiju, all these different projects. If you hold those, you automatically get whitelisted for that day and then they also have the pixel genesis whitelist if you hold one of those they also reserve some of them for those people so i popped in their discord everything looks very organized here they're doing a good job in here nothing really to say as far as constructive criticism on that end they do have an instagram page which they post videos for they have funny memes here i'm a big fan of their social media i think they're doing a great job with their personal branding they have to you know for a project like this that's pushing this type of brand where it's supposed to be fun you got to match that with the content and so far they are i would even like to see more honestly and they also have a TikTok account, which you guys know, I love. I'm a big fan of projects having a variety of different content. You don't know where your fans are going to get. I've actually onboarded so many people onto my YouTube for my TikTok. So honestly, for all new projects, if you're not put prioritizing TikTok for your growth as far as getting content out there, you should be. So I would like to see even more work on their TikTok and Instagram. Maybe not as much Instagram, but definitely with TikTok. TikTok is a sleeping giant for NFT projects that are new, especially. You can have a video go fucking viral in five minutes if you post a TikTok. You never know what's gonna happen on TikTok. So I think it's a sleeping giant. More new projects should be on here. So good on them for doing that. Guys, that's pretty much gonna bring this video to a close. Um, I hope you enjoyed that review. As far as constructive criticism, like I said, just more work on their, on their social media. I want them to push their TikTok as much as they possibly fucking can get more and more video content they've already got a ton so i would just say honestly keep doing more of the same maybe do a little bit less of those growth campaigns i think that's pretty unnecessary in the long run it is important to have a little bit of marketing but as long as you keep building that brand you keep expanding and building it's really not that necessary you guys saw with evaverse evaverse was a fucking 0.03 eth floor for seven months while i was yelling at you guys about it now it pumped up to 0.3 it was at 0.5 at one point you know if you build and you build and build and build and you and you grow that community from the inside out that's all the marketing you really need because they'll do the marketing for you so guys if you enjoyed this video smash a like it helps the channel out tremendously subscribe to the channel join the kingdom follow me on twitter join the discord down below in the description if you haven't already get those free stocks get that free fucking shit get the free stuff link in the description down below it helps me out directly use that weibo link download the app do the shit you know add money in there whatever do the things guys if you want to see more of me right now click on one of these boxes on the side of me until next time continue on your joyage continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video.